you want to boost your team's outcome without spending any money? Awesome! I will tell you one simple hack that will help your team to boost their outcome. So first we are going to talk about why you should use this hack and what's actually the underlying problem. Second, we are going to talk about this simple hack. And third, we are going to talk about the results when you're using this hack. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sven, and I'm an Agile coach based in Austria and currently on holiday in Croatia. And on this channel, we are going to explore how to make your team happier and more productive. And today we are exploring one simple hack that would help your team to boost their outcome. So let's get started. So what is actually the underlying problem and issue? According to Scrum Inc, when they go into companies, they figure out that around 30% of the work should not be done at all because it is against your company's vision, goals and still 30% people are working on things they should not work on. Of the remaining 70%, according to the Standish Group data, another 64% is work that should not be done because customers are rarely using these features or not at all. That leaves another 45% of the total amount of work that should not be done. With the remaining 25%, that's where you should focus on. So work on this part. Imagine this, 75% of your organization or your team are working on things that should not be worked on. And instead focus on this 25%. What is the reason why people are not doing this? People are not prioritizing things. And that leads me to the simple hack. And it's about prioritizing things and the willingness to say no. How do you normally prioritize? A lot of companies where I go to and coach, they come up and say like, yeah, this is our prior one project. And then we have this project and it's also prior one. And this one, also prior one, prior one, prior one. And uh, then we just started with this project and yeah, this is the most important one. When you have something like this, stop doing this and instead create a backlog which has an order, a ranking. We are working on this rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four, rank five. And then a limit the work in progress so you can actually get work done. So stop starting and start finishing. What are now the results when you're using prioritization? You will stop starting and start finishing things. And it's good in the beginning to focus on the output of your team. So you want to get things out as quick as possible to get actual feedback from customers. So output focus is very good. But after a while, and you will probably increase your, your output by two or threefold in the first couple of months introducing this rule. And then you will get feedback from your customers and probably they will suck. And then you can focus on what is really important and that's the outcome. So are you making your customers happy? Are you saving lives? Are you creating value for the world to thrive? When you ask this question, you're already on your path to hyper productivity because now your team generates value for the world and this makes generally teams happy and with that also more productive. What do you think? Is this one simple hack something you should try out? Leave a comment below and tell me what happened after you introduced a backlog which has a ranking. Or what are other hacks you're using in your teams that make them more happy 
and more productive. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like it and if you want to see more videos about how to make your team happy and productive then please subscribe to my channel and I wish you an enjoyable and productive time.